All right, so let's talk about the account ID, which appears up here in the top right corner uh, where you can get the account ID. It also appears in IAM. So if we go over to IAM and you look on the right hand side, it should show you the example here. It keeps on trying to take us to the old dashboard, that's fine. Um, but you'll notice that it's over here and I don't have MFA turned on because I'm in my IAM user account, but it should be turned on on everything, that's a given. But uh, you know, I just want to show you where it is and also where you might be using it. So one example where you would use, you would need to know your account ID would be something like creating a cross account policy. So I went here and went to policy and went to create policy. Um, and we went to, maybe it's a role. I think we actually, sorry, we want a cross account role. It's not the policy, sorry. We go here and we say, I want to access something in another AWS account. What we have to do is specify the account ID, specify the accounts that can use this role. So you give, I think, the, the ID of the other account. Okay. And so that is one place where we would use it. Another place would be when you're creating policies. So if I go back to policies here, I can create a policy here. And I can just choose something like S3. Okay. And I'll just choose a list. And under the request conditions, I might specify, I think the account ID, it should be in here. Um, I know I can limit based on account ID. Principal account. So you could do principal account. So if I just looked up this here, AWS principal account. And you just gotta get used to Googling things because that's always what's happening here. And so we should be able to specify an account ID. Yeah, like that. So that would be the principle there. So if I just took that and it doesn't matter what it is, we just put the value in here. Um, string equals this, add. I should be able to go over here and now see the full statement. Nope, sometimes that happens because we don't have it fully filled out. But um, yeah, so that pretty much, that's pretty much how we use it. Like it would normally show up as that. So if I just go ahead and go next, the policy contains an error. You are required to choose a resource. What do you mean? The resource is this, right? Oh, down here. Okay, sorry. Uh, so we'll just say all resources. Then we flip over. Now it's valid. And so here we can see our condition saying only from this account ID that it is allowed. Um, other places we're going to see account IDs are in um, ARNs, right? So if we had an EC2 instance, we don't have one launched right now, but if I was to go ahead and, oh, maybe we have some prior ones. Yeah, so if I was to checkbox this here, and you might not have any prior ones, so there might not be nothing for you to see, but if you look for the ARN, where is our ARN? Sometimes it doesn't show the ARN in the services, sometimes it does. I wish that ABUS always showed the ARN to make our lives a bit easier, but it could be because of other reasons why. But even though we don't have the ARN, I think it shows, shows us the owner ID. And so that's the account, uh, the account ID number. You can tell it because it's 12 digits. So hopefully that gives you kind of a tour of the account ID and what its purpose is in the account, okay?